Hey all, thanks for joining me. It is the Thursday before non-farm payroll. <clears throat> so markets are a little bit quiet. Well, the Forex markets are certainly very quiet. Uh, the stock markets are pushing higher. We'll have a look at them in a minute. Uh, gold this week has just been stuck in a range, pretty much stuck between my resistance level at sort of 1763, 1765. Shorts there have been working all week. Um, down to support, well, sort of 1750, 1747, but we didn't even make it that far today. Where did we get to? 1751 and change. So scalping, uh, short scalping that 1763, 1765 levels have certainly worked. Which way the market goes though, going forward, I really don't know. I guess that's all down to the non-farm payroll number tomorrow. Crude is the other market that's treated us quite nicely today. I had that big support level down at 75.50, 75.20. The low today is 75.00. So the longs there are doing quite nicely. We're now back up to 76.55. Uh, where did we get to? We got a little bit higher than that, did we? Uh, 77.13 is the high. Um, we've been, we're now up to 77.30 or, or we've dipped back from there. But uh, in this last uh, period, in the afternoon period, we managed to just edge a little bit higher. So longs, I think we're okay at the moment, even though it's a bit of a slow recovery. Well, I say slow. I don't think anyone's going to complain with 200 potential, um, 150, 200 tick profit in an afternoon on that trade. Uh, okay, Germany 30. Now, stock markets are pushing higher. I had some resistance in the NASDAQ and the S&P. Certainly in the S&P, that's been broken. We've pushed higher. And it's been quite a surprise, really, because, uh, well, certainly when we look at the Germany 40, I keep called, I've called it the Germany 30. Do you know what? I've only just realized it's re been recalled the Germany 40. That probably happened years ago, and I've only just caught up with it. Anyway, the DAX, the Germany 40. You can see this quite interesting candle. Now, we broke the neckline, and, and down we went. Uh, I thought we were going to go further than 80 than 14, uh, 14,820. And we bounced back and closed above that big support level, the 200 day moving average, the neckline to the head and shoulders. So it was a false break. And now we're just pushing higher. Clearly a bear trap there. Uh, the bears got caught out, um, you know, including myself, really, because I thought we'd go down significantly further. Selling on the break did work, but there was only maybe 100, 150 ticks profit in it before we then uh, rocketed back up. So it does look quite strong now, the DAX, after that false break. And certainly the, the S&P, the NASDAQ, Dow Jones, all looking strong. So panic over in the stock markets, it would appear. And I think the only way is up right now, maybe leading into the non-farm payroll number. Uh, Euro, US dollar held that support level that I had sort of 15, 115, 90, 115, 70 for so long, but it's broken now. Actually, I haven't um, taken my lines off the charts. You, you can still see that sort of resistance. Anyway, in that high 115 area, today's high is 115.71. So, you know, I'm, I'm looking for that sort of 115.70, 115.90 area to hold. I've actually, on the report today, I've put resistance in at 115.90, 116.10, um, just based on what I'm seeing maybe on the shorter term charts. So yeah, uh, as long as we hold below 116.00, anyway, euro, uh, the pressure for the euro remains to the downside. Um, interestingly enough, the Aussie's actually been quite strong, moving in the other direction to the euro. Um, 73.00 area has been the big resistance for the week. It's held really, really well, as you can see, for a long time, on uh, for two weeks, really, on the daily chart on this side. Um, you can see that a little bit more clearly on the four-hour chart on this side. That resistance really has held well all week. Now, the question is, do we break above there? Do we get through sort of 73.20 um, now? And that would be the trigger to push higher, I think. So just watch that resistance level in the Aussie work so well. Um, and clearly because it's worked so well, if we break above it, then that should be a short term buy signal for the Aussie versus the US. Talking of which, US dollar hit that uh, dollar index um, resistance around 94.50 again. That held so well last week. It retested it. So far it's backed off. If that stays, a, uh, stay, you know, if it stays like that, uh, particularly on the non-farm payroll number tomorrow, then we will have a uh, potential double top in the dollar index. So we really are at quite a crucial point, as you know, because I've written all that in the reports. Um, that's my summary for the afternoon on Thursday. We'll see how we get on with the non-farm payroll number and if that um, drives the market in any particular direction tomorrow afternoon. Until then, good luck.